Hey, how are you guys doing out there? Elric Ferris back here once again on the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel to bring you guys an update on the ultra portable new MacBook Air series of laptops from our friends over at Apple. Today we're going to be taking a look at both the high end 11 inch and the entry level 13 inch MacBook Airs. Now, both these things do have some similar features in common. Those features are, they both come with a lot of the same things. First of all, we'll start off with the graphics. Both of these have HD 3000 graphics from Intel with 384 megabytes of graphic power. That's exactly the same. They both have the same keyboard input, same input for, for, your, for, you know, for working around with your mouse and all that. All that is still exactly the same. They each have two USB ports. They each have Thunderbolt. Now, here's where the differences start coming in. This one here has an 11 inch screen. This one has a 13 inch screen. Now the 13 inch screen has a 1440 by 900 resolution, which is very nice. It's even higher than any of the comparable PC ones that you can get on the market. Another difference is the SD card reader. The 11 inch model coming in at $1,199 does not have an SD card reader. The 13 inch model though does. So. Also, they each have 128 gigabytes of SSD. It's inside and it's also upgradable. Through Apple, you can get 256 gigabytes, or if you go third party, you can get up to 480 gigabyte drives inside of these nice little things. Also, this one has five hours of battery life, 30 day standby time. This one has seven hours of battery life. Some of the cool things, the little 11 inch one, you can actually take this onto the airport. You don't even need to remove it out of your backpack. So when you're walking through that line, they make you take off your shoes, get undressed, whatever funky stuff they're gonna do with you. If you have the little 11 inch, you do not even have to worry about that whatsoever. You can just keep it in your backpack, throw it through and let it run to the airport. You don't have to open it up or anything like that. Also, the new OS has come out. Lion is out. Urgh. Both these come with Lion pre-installed. You can also upgrade the line if you have any older one for $29, but these ones come out of the gate with Lion on it. Now, as far as performance goes, there's going to be some slight differences. This one comes in at 1.6 gigahertz on an Intel i5. Now, this is a low voltage CPU, requires almost no electricity, whatever, to keep it going. This one comes in at 1.7 gigahertz. They both offer hyper threading and they both offer turbo boost. So that's these things in a nutshell. One's $1,199, one's $1,299. The major differences between the two is this one has an SD card reader, seven hours of battery life, and a 13 inch screen. And this one has five hours of battery life. And once again, you do not have to remove it to come out of the airport. So that's pretty much it. Bigger screen, longer battery life, ultra portability, and you don't have to worry about it coming in at the airport. One of the last things that I want to say out there is that these things compare very well on the market. A lot of people out there will try to compare them to PCs and say the price differences are there. In this segment of the market, believe it or not, Apple products actually fall in cheaper than their company PCs. Something to take into consideration. I'm Miller Ferris, your host here at the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel. Today we took a look at both the new 11 and 13 inch MacBook Airs. We had a first look and we thank you for coming here to our channel and see you on the internet.